Well, easy popular in my. Is it is it a little double act here? Do we go no. Mourinho Lampard no. double act? <laughs> oh my god, that is mental. Look how look how much it, it moves. <laughs> You're a freak. <laughs> Why? Oh, oh. <laughs> so it's so, so hard. Good. I'm so fed up. Luke, just support a proper club, Jim. It's not hard. F Luke, F you, F you. There's no way it's harder to support your club than it is to support my club. So, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yes, I'm rattled. Just so everyone knows, like, uh, well, I thought we better um, tell you guys something well, because you're the sluggies. But um, me and Jim were thinking about stopping the pod. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. We nah, were just talking. I'm joking. Nah, I'm joking. Did anyone buy it? Nah, it's just nah. not. Nah. Enough's enough. At the end of nah, this nah. season, we will it's stop so talking hard. about the 23 24 season. <laughs> <laughs> people do that. Do you know, people do that on like Twitter. They do the sort of like the attention seeking tweets. It's, that's that's what we just did there at the start. They're just sort yeah. of like framing it in a way that like this it's come uh, I've got we've got an announcement. Why I'm quitting YouTube. Yeah. I've always wanted to do that video. I've always <laughs> I've always wanted to title that video. I've sorry guys. Uh, I do want to be the greatest I think people really enjoy this if you just went I'm quitting YouTube because I've made so much money. I don't need to do this anymore. <laughs> That's a great video. <laughs> like, I'm even like, well done, Jim. Fuck off. <laughs> you lot, only the patrons get that. Let's start the podcast here. Right. The podcast is starting right now. Okay. I'm on this camera. I'm on this camera because I've just had a delightful little look to the side camera. But you've missed out on that because you're not a moist slug. Shame on you. But please stick around for the rest of the podcast. Welcome back to James and Flap for now. Excited. Hello, mate. You all right? Hello, mate. I'm good. I'm good. We're going to talk about unemployed managers, and yep. we're going to find a home for several of them, which is going to be great because it's, it feels like a lot of movement in the market, and there could be some big names coming back, but we also want to just maybe have a look at some names that we'd like to see back in the game. Premier League's been suspiciously patient with managers recently. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it seems like, like there was like... There was a season a couple of years ago. There was like thirteen sacked by March. The half the half last the... year, wasn't it? Was it uh, last year? Was it? Yeah. I tell you what, let me find up the because do you know what is? Here's a question for you. Yeah. Is Ten Hag going to figure this out? <laughs> is he? Is he figuring this out? Well, what? it does. I mean, the, the results would suggest Jim that he might be figuring it out. Um. It, the pressure's not on him, and to be to to give Glazers credit, and not that it's probably just didn't want to deal with it. Three cheers for Glazers? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm not saying that. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, we got, we, we should talk about that. There, there was a there, there was the um, there was a BBC article about how much they spent on their squad. But before that, oh yeah, that's great. Ten Hag has has been given. There has never been any pressure on him, apart from people like me, you know, bugger all. Saying he he's not good enough. I still think he's he's not going to be the guy that's going to be able to get Manchester United to wherever they be. And this in, new infrastructure at United, which is really interesting, and we should be concerned as fans about what's happened behind the scenes at, at United. Um, that that's that that perhaps they will look to someone else eventually. But Ten Hag Ten Hag will be under more pressure when Ratcliffe is in there, and if Dan Ashworth takes over. He'll be under more pressure then because he has to deliver. Whereas it feels like under the Glazers, he's he's just been allowed to. They didn't want to deal with it. He's done all right, and so he 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 was never going to get sacked in this situation unless things got really dire. There's I a got, weird irony as this. I got asked on Twitter. We did our Twitter space, um, hosted by Ben Bowman in the chat right now. It's really good. And uh, was, a question that was put to me was that we'll. Ten Hag survive. It was put to the um, Double A, who's one of um, who was one of the contributors. Got a channel as well. Go check him out. He and my gut went to the idea that he can't. I th I feel like his days are still numbered. But if he, yeah, 
I just, yeah. it doesn't, yeah. When, yeah. when where is he going to go? Is he going to go in the summer? Is he going to go there? Uh, he now, he gets the, <sighs> here's that article you're talking about, actually. So, Man United, this is, it's a great headline. It is a good headline. Mm. Manchester United's 2023 squad is the most expensive in history. We did a podcast a couple of weeks ago looking at players that had lost their value over the last 12 months. And Anthony had uh, was the player who'd lost the most. And yeah, yeah, yeah. this was saying that Man United's squad last year were the most expensive ever assembled in football. <laughs> Crazy. It doesn't that... take into account some of Chelsea's spending, but... Yeah. Does it not? That's mad. As no, it's, there's a, the, I read the article. Years. It's just, it's up to 23. So there's a like, large part of Chelsea spending it didn't, okay. or the financial year didn't conclude. But the reality is, that is an insane amount of money. And it just, it's, it's testament, well, it's an example of the ineptitude of what's go, what has been going on at United for years. And what they're trying to fix right now by handing over the footballing operations to Ratcliffe, because that that needed to happen a long, long, long time ago. Because ultimately, all of this money spent could, should have put Manchester United easily on a par with with City. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's they, see. What they, you, let's see what you could like, have won. Where should they be the, when you spend that amount of money? Jordan does kind they, of they show. Should, it, should, it should be the two biggest, the biggest sides in the league. I and mean, there's no. You know, a Man United fan will sort of dismiss Manchester City as a plastic football club. You're spending the same amount of money. You're spend the only thing that City had to do was to catch up with you. The fact that City are winning constantly is much as much about Manchester United failings as it is about how good City and Pep are. They should be in this situation, but they've just had the wrong decision making over and over again. And what they're putting in place now worries me a little bit because yeah. they have the revenue to operate with in a way that. Very few can, and with the right leadership, I've talked about so so many times, Jim, about um, about thinking. how. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, if you like, if a fish <laughs> thinks it's things from the head, and that's what's happening at Manchester United. But 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 the, you have institutional uh, people at football clubs. Like I've said, I'm not going to go over it again. But Alex Ferguson, Wenger, um, Abramovich at Chelsea, all of those. United haven't had one of those. They haven't had that person who institutionalizes the club in one ideology, yes. one idea of how we operate. And they probably have that. Or you, you, this is their best chance now. And yeah. you would imagine there'll be a sort of a, a sensible nature to it now. In terms of the Glazers themselves, isn't it? It's mad that. I remember my dad saying this to me so clearly when I was 16. He said, he's, my dad just generally is quite sort of like kind of kind in the way that he speaks. He, every So often he'll like, he'll sort of look you sort of dead in the eye. And, and he's, I remember him saying, it will blow your mind, James, how stupid, how, uh, how much stupid people can make. <laughs> yeah. It's like, there's, there are people on a hundred thousand right. pounds a year. You are so dumb, James. He's like so serious. I was like, I was like, was... I was like what's it, like, Dad? Are you, what are you trying to? Are you giving me hope here, that? or are you? Is this a cautionary no. tale? Because I'm, am I smart or not? You got to be thick here, Dad. I'm that just about amazing. to be with GCSEs. Here. I don't really need this, mate. There's, I, I, there is people in my, not my close circle, but I know through other people, and they've got jobs in the city, and I'm like. You're earning up. You're, you're a How melt, I, mate. <laughs> like, what, How, you're it's not even man. that. It isn't even that. Jimmy's like they're incapable, and or, and they're like, "How are you doing this?" Yeah, unreal. But not... but with that in mind, that's so with Man United in mind, the thing that I think would be the most fearful thing for sort of non-Man United fans or people that want Man United to do well is is the Dan Ashworth thing, or is like, oh, they're gonna. I'm like oh no, they're gonna behave properly. <laughs> they're gonna like yeah. They'll be they're gonna become a functional football club with smart yeah. individuals at the top. Like it's it's amazing that they and the Glazers right. This is a this is a horrible take, and you I feel free to get angry, but you probably get where I'm coming from. The Glazers have done brilliantly here. <laughs> 
right? Oh, what you mean their decision making now? <laughs> no, it's just, yeah, they've gone. They've like, well, so they've done horrifically, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, but at no point of it seems to me have felt any form of emotional guilt towards the, the dismay they've caused. No, they none at still, all. yet still um, having an asset that is probably as uh, you know has as much money in the bank as possible having spent yeah. no money themselves <laughs> they've not they've lost not lost any money at all and now oh, bit... they've gone they've sold a little bit to an asset that is uh, let's say it's five worth five billion now that will all you've got to do now is stay in the background and wait till it's where you've sold one billion of the five billion that it's worth wait for mm. it to be worth 12 10. billion doing yeah. nothing nothing and all yeah. the pressure because okay maybe no emotional toil but maybe a touch of pressure was applied to them you'd think like even if they are like you know those completely narcissistic egos who've just got so much money that these are just little play things maybe there was an element of pressure there but even that's gone now now if it does well go well, hang on a minute we gave him the keys we're just sitting yes. back now, and they they, well, the... there's no way they don't make money. They've, they've done. The they've done. They played a blinder. They have played a blinder. No, they, they I mean, don't I don't think questions their ability. Man, they'll get angry. Right, I get it. No, but your, your anger is directed they... the wrong person here. Okay. I don't think that the anger goes. At, I think they understand that they're good business people. They they bought United without spending their own money and leveraged debt from the club right to, to to buy it yeah which is As obviously ab like it's abhorrent it's totally wrong like all of that but could you have done what what's happened at man united could you have done that at other clubs well, the club has to be worth some an, enough doesn't it in order for to, to raise the yeah but it would have just been a small smaller scale i think right um I don't know. I don't know if it would, probably wouldn't pass in, in the modern era for a club to be able to do that. You need to, they have to prove that they have the finances to buy it with their own, uh, yeah, with their own finances, essentially. I don't think they can leverage that against the acquisition if that's exactly what Glazers happened. But what, whatever it is and whatever's happened previously, handing over the responsibility to someone who's willing to pay a, a billion pounds for that responsibility and then it being all on him if it goes wrong is kind of a masterstroke in terms of business from, from the Glazers. Like, and it's not, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but good and shrewd or good business. Yeah. Acumen mor is, yeah. Morally correct. Isn't always mor something that's self-serving and two different things. Aren't but but they've, 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 like you say, Jim, they've removed themselves from, they've removed themselves from the responsibility of what happens on the pitch, hand it over to people that know what they're doing. Clearly they do because they've made two big acquisitions already, including Dan Ashworth if he comes. And it makes sense. So everyone should be worried, not concerned about what United are doing. They always had the potential to, like I said, spend massive amounts of money. They've always done that. But they haven't had the right people choosing the right acquisitions. And Ten Hag was given way too much responsibility mm. in bringing the players in that he wants to. Wasted a lot of it. It's going to be interesting though, because what happens time and again is, oh he's uh, he's the guy, oh he's the guy, oh he's the guy. Like that's happened for Man United for so long with so many different people, and because you kind of it's an easy bet to go, oh this guy must be the guy because you just it's it's Man United he, like they're the, enormous. The, so yeah. so would the acquisition of Anthony happened now if Dan Ashworth is in charge? It may it. So. May no, I don't think so either. But it may have done if, if 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 Ten Hag was of the position that this is a crucial part of my plan, mm. and but then he has to justify why the the player should be brought in to someone like Dan Ashworth, and then the decision is made by the board whether or not they're going to finance that move. There was no one in between them, whoever it was, or if there were, whoever was in between the um, the acquisition and and um, Ten Hag didn't do their job properly because the guy is not Premier League level player. Oh, Sam Peoples. Yeah. Oh, just a quick shout out to our boy Sam. He's probably... There yeah, he is. Ma Look at that lovely face. Um, who, yeah, I chatted to Sam obviously on the pod a few weeks ago. Knew he was, he was going to have his surgery. He's had his surgery. I think he's all okay now. Um, Flo tapping him up for, um, for uh, meds. 
Which, well, well, I thought he's was, got some morphine tablets and they sound all right. Yeah, so. just felt like a bit of a, maybe not the he time has, to do it, but was, at the same well, time, no, he's probably heavily under, you know, it, there's no the better moment, time probably to Probably not a better time to do it. You're right. You're right. Again, yeah, shrewd. No time Again, to, shrewd. <laughs> shrewd. Not ethical, but shrewd. I get what I want. Yeah. Um, I don't, he hasn't actually sent me any yet, so Sam, if you are watching, um, please do. Um, yeah, big shout out to Sam. Tried to call him yesterday, didn't pick up, so... <laughs> He's probably live streaming. But he's got he's got long four event. long fourteen months ahead of him in his recovery. So good luck, Sam. We love you. Indeed. And we have a, we've got Samism a little bit later on. Um. So back to that Ten Hag element. I just think that if they have a very clear plan in place, it seems back to front to to have him as the manager because you're going to have this very clear philosophy. You're then going to want a manager that is utterly aligned with it. Now maybe. Mm. You know, Ten Hag makes his way cap in hand and goes, don't make me redundant. Please don't make me redundant. And they go, yeah. well, we've got to do it this way uh, now. Well. And he goes, fine. And probably in that moment, he's shown a weakness that will get him the sack anyway. But if he can kind of start to get it moving, because again, another thing I said was that uh, in the Twitter space was at what point all these sort of late wins and victories, at what point is that sort of impressive? Like with McTominay sort of winning these games, and at what point does the luck run? Or at what point does the luck run out from that point of view? Because even the game against Villa, they shouldn't have won that game. Like they they've got away with a lot this year, they really have got mm. away with a lot. But the other side, I've seen people talking about that these injuries and these players coming back could make a difference. But I just think Ten Hag, it just feels like he's on borrowed time. Um, and with that in you mind. Think... Often you see, and the, the additional pressure when new new owners come in, a new direction comes in. They've got their ideas. And they, they will inevitably give him time, but the minute it starts to go less than ideally, that's a horrible sentence. Then, um, then they'll 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 pull the trigger because they'll have <laughs> they'll have a plan. Are you laughing at this? So I asked the yeah. people, um, what managers would you love to see back in the Prem? We've got a bit of a tier list and we're going to assign a club for sort of a, a list of different uh, available managers right now. But I laughed at this one as yeah. well. It's from Al Bollens. I, uh, who I said, can't remember. What's his name again? I can't remember his name. So a little quiz for the chat. Who is yeah. this? He claimed that he was the best manager in the Premier League. Newcastle fans will be straight in the comments on this one. Back to your back to your dad who says it's amazing <laughs> how rich stupid people can be. Well, yeah, he sort of. I mean, I think he just went. What's his name? Is it Carr? John Carver. Carr's... That's correct. John oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Carr, the goat, the best coach, coach in the league, <laughs> best on coach on one stage. Very good point. Didn't really get the chance he deserved. Poor bloke. Um, this is the... it. this is this is that, but obviously misplaced arrogance. Like like Sherwood he used to say, oh, my my that's my win record at Tottenham is second to none." Second to none, he's putting himself up there with some of the greatest because he did all right for six months. That's such a that's such a great example. Misplaced oh. arrogance, or then you have the other side of it. Whereas, uh, war, war not things you have to fake it to you make it a little bit as a manager. I think a lot of people mm. wanted Brucey back. They want Jose back. So let's uh, let's give this a go. Uh, okay, because I've got a tier list here, and I know I do a lot of tier lists, but it's just it's just an easy way of doing it. Um, I've got a whole list of managers and I've assigned some clubs to, to make available for them. What is the most likely destination for these people? Now, we've got a whole list of people. We'll just make our way through it. Chelsea should, it. Chelsea should be in there as well, really. But if um, To finish it on, on the Man United thing, if it's not Ten Hag in the future, who do you who see? It? Who's next? Who's next? It's I such a strength. I think as a manager... Who's do you? Who's ruining Harry Kane's move to Bayern Munich right now? Who I just think feels a bit Man United. -y. Oh, too cool. I think too um, a bit Man United. -y. Well, I don't know. I said Ange, you, didn't I? I did say Ange. You, you not did say Ange. Um, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. There, there was a report from a journalist in Australia. You know that that Liverpool is like a fucking obsession in Australia, like Liverpool and Man United. And there was a report from the bloke who called his moves to from Brisbane to Japan to Celtic. He's now saying that Liverpool will make a move for Postacoglu in the summer. Has he got? He's in the know, is I, he? 
apparently, but like, bear in mind, they're obsessed with Liverpool. Like, mm. and he was a Liverpool fan growing up. So who knows? But I doubt, I doubt it very much. The way he's talking doesn't, he, I just can't see. He knows how badly that would play. I just, he's too much. He's just not that. Or maybe, I fuck no, I've had my heart broken so many times. I don't, don't know anymore. Um, but I don't think so. I, uh, uh, I think... Anyway, so Manchester United, sorry, go on. So yeah, I think I think Tuchel is an option from there because I just think it's Tuchel, a bit. Tuchel's the right profile because he has the experience of of managing a club of that stature. Like mm-hmm. instantly, I, I thought of the Lisbon manager Amron and yeah, is Amron Amron got to get uh, the gig I'm soon, just... isn't it? He'd be fuming Amron. He's been linked with the every but, the Portuguese curbs. But, but he needs he needs something in between. Like it's like it's almost like Alonso. You just think mate, is Liverpool too early for him? especially following Klopp, big shoes to fill. You need a full guy in between. They should, this is what Liverpool should do to, to protect Alonso. This should be the long-term plan. Just throw Gerrard to the walls. Give him the job for six months. Make everyone unhappy. Yeah. Then Alonso comes in. That's the plan. Yeah. Just comes yeah. in and swoops in. I think there's, I think, uh, there's a shout now. Gerrard yeah. is like, but imagine he does well and everyone's like... <laughs> no, 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 he so does eight months he, in. So, so what, eight months in, they're, like, they're third, <laughs> having a bit of a push for the title. Everyone's going, oh, fuck's sake. Alonso's going to go to Man United Dude, in a minute. With how, how well, what, is, what would Gerard have to do in order for Liverpool fans to not be happy, but you can't sack him? Yeah. Third, isn't it? It's, it's third, third, isn't it? Yeah, third's, third's the sort of. You can't third get of... sacked in third, can you? People get sacked in third. What's not? Did you see that? It's Did you see a story it, about the Ivory Coast manager? If you're Real Madrid, yeah, they let he he he, <laughs> he got bloke. sacked, didn't he? <laughs> he got sacked in the group stage after a, like a horrible defeat. They went on and won the tournament. Is that is that smart movement or was he was he unlucky? It, who managed them then? I don't know. I'm afraid. I just know the basics of the story. Why have I've you, just why sacked have you asked him and then gone on? To... <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. That? Sorry. Do you know? Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> Mate, I'd fu- I don't, no, I, right? I'd... I don't fucking know. Okay, but he seemed to, he seemed happy when they won. I watched the last twenty minutes of the final. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah. I, I watched a bit of it. And I was like, this is crazy. The um... the pitch was terrible. That so yeah. I think with Gerard, thing is with Gerard, it's, I don't. I'd love to know Liverpool fans. Let us know in the it. comments how and in the live chat right now. And if you want to be a patron, you can do so. Oh, by the way. In terms of being a patron, uh, Tail said we said we asked about the. Uh, le- so if you become a patron, you get to enjoy the mailbags with us each week for less than a London pint. And uh, I was getting a bit of heat on that. Um, but Tails has come to the rescue. He said, "I own a pub in Leicestershire, and my patron subscription to you is less than a pint of Carling in Leicester in my pub." Fucking hell, pint pint of Carling. Could, I've got a question for you, Tay. T- t- Tails. Um, if you own a pub, do you have to have Carling in there? Because Carling is piss. Yeah, is that your choice, Tails? You, are you putting Carling in there? Or, or is Carling... Was it there when you got there? <laughs> Carling... You haven't changed the barrel because no one fucking Car- buys Carling. Do they? Carling is... It's, oh, it's absolute it's local, dog isn't it? water. It's local uh, to Leicester, maybe. I think that's it. I, you don't see Carling in London. There'll be, there'll be no Carling in London. That we're sure. Anyway, he said, if that's not the only time you drink, the only time you drink Carlin would be like 4 a.m. at afters. Everything's run out and you're just trying to just hold on to that buzz. It's a can, not even on the fridge, on the side of someone's kitchen cabinet, half open. (laughs) So he says, look, if that's not a bargain, I don't know what is. Also, as James well knows, the Midlands is the pits. <laughs> so therefore, the Moisty subscription feels like real value for money. Yeah, good. good. Oh, you, you, do you remember your, your sort of your Mid- campaign so against Midlands. the Midlands? <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, that was a three-year campaign. Um, <laughs> no, I do remember that. Um, so yeah, so if you want to become a patron, you can let us know. You could, you could get involved. Um, so hang on. Ben Bowman says, does Gerard ever get another Prem job? That's a good question. Is he an artillery? That is a good question. Let's check. Let's stick him in there. He's not, annoyingly. Oh. Poor work. So I'll tell you what, let's assign him as an example within our tier list. Right. So we've got what manage, if they had to manage one of these clubs, where do you see them at? Sadly, we've got QPR at the bottom of this. Thanks, Kai. Mm. I'm going to ask you to make this. Why put QPR at the bottom? Put them at the top. Liverpool, Bayern, Barcelona, 
He's put Bayern in twice. There's a car crash. What is that? Do you need to edit it? Yeah, where do we want to put there? Let's stick Chelsea in. All right. Think oh, go, do you? This is, this is a mess. Man United. Yeah. Man United. Man United. Why yeah, Bayern stick. Let's yeah, keep England. Bayern. Let's like I don't let remove Bayern. Put in United. Okay. Because who gives a shit who manages Bayern? It's a tin pot league. Play it full of tin pot players. Uh, and uh, I'm not. I'm not interested in it. I saw so. the, the turn on Kane because the team's not won. He scored so many goals. Like give the guy a break. <laughs> Ridiculous. Mate, this, this, He's a this shadow. Is one of my, He's a shadow. This for myself. What are you on about? This, this, there's a constant conversation. And no matter how many times I try and have this, James, and trying to convince people that team, team achievements only mean so much to an individual's credibility. For example, and I'm no Bouvier, he's tongue in cheek, but he's like, he said that Calvin Phillips can't be on the list in the, in the club of the worst transfers in the Premier League. Because he won a treble, he did not. He belonged to a football club who won a treble. Yeah, he watched and, a treble. He watched a treble, which is why if Kane stayed in the Premier League and he was the top goal scorer, it would mean more than every single one of any of those players winners medals in the Premier League, because he's the one player that could do something that no other striker could. It's team sport, that- Flav. No, that you can't title use that didn't... as a Calvin Phillips thing. Calvin Phillips didn't no, play no, football. I'm... I've moved on. I've moved on from Calvin Phillips, but I'm just saying, so whatever Aguero achieved at Manchester City pales into insignificance if Kane comes back and, and becomes the, the top goal scorer in the Premier League of all time, because it's a fact that that makes him the best striker to ever do it in the Premier League. There have been thousands of people, hundreds of people rather, that have won Premier League winners' medals. Loads of them. Just really bad players have won Premier League. There's yeah, only one yeah, player. That's... I get that. And, and so that achievement, for me, it, by definition, because there's only, there can be only one, would make Harry Kane's achievements more important than... What if he's 45 fucking... when he does it? Well, he's just lit. You know, like Romario's like, Romario's like <laughs> smoking, going, yeah, like a thousand goals. Yeah. I'm going to try and get to a thousand. You're 45, yeah. Romario. Yeah, yeah. I want to get to a thousand. Like that, if Kane's still going at forty-five, is he the greatest? He's at forty-five, he's just, he's just like plodding over the, you know, like like Ian Rush was like thirty-seven, just still playing. It's like Ian, yeah, you ain't got it up. anymore. <laughs> Let it go, son. This, but just it, it, the, the fact that he done it, playing in a team that never won, that was never the best in the league as well, mm. is even more credit. But but my point is, is that I'm not saying that's the definition of of, of achievement, although it is. But I, I, I can also just the fact that he he's he gets dismissed as something, unfortunately, because he hasn't won trophies. Yeah, and yeah. that's that's unfair. Yeah, so whenever you're arguing who's the like who's the best striker in the Premier League. Yeah, it's Alan Shearer, then it's Harry Kane, and there's no there's no the, 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 but but because Shearer won a, a league at uh, Blackburn at the start of his well midway through his career, it's almost like. There can be no other conversation. If 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 Kane would have gone and done it at at, at, at City, he would he now suddenly be seen as a different player, someone who should be considered as one of the best striker that the league's ever seen. It's merely because he is at Tottenham and there's a tax on that because we don't win mm. that he can't. He's not considered as such. And it's, it's interesting. It is interesting. The trophy thing is interesting. I think for his, it's a team sport, and so going off and winning trophies is impo- important. Also, it's like, what is really important here? Like, I get what you're saying, but in terms of the, the sort of metric of I scored the most goals, but like, is that, I don't know, is Not that so, worth it's, it? He's, he's dismissed, he's, 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 his qualities are dismissed or suffer somewhat because he hasn't won a, yes, won a I league agree. For, for a, I nation, agree for a nation-backed football club. Like Ben asked the question, is what does winning a league at City actually mean? Nothing really. Oh, well, they do I, it every I, year. I did what something for Zach, and we had to put a. F- it was five strikers, six strike, no five strikers. You had to put them in a list, and I put Kane quite high because I actually see. I look at the t- the goals in a Tottenham team that's been not great. 
I see that as that makes him better. Than what though. it makes him better? That, why is that even so? Why is it so difficult for people to understand? It does seem. Really There's such a basic point. Yeah, but is true. Yeah, I totally agree. Let's give this tier list a go. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm even feeling it. But we've. It's been made, and let's give it. Okay. I like. Can, should we? Are we starting with Conte? I think we should go to Mourinho. Is there any world where he ends up at Chelsea? So I think what's nice is let's let's make our way through the, the, the worlds that he can live. Now QPR, I don't see it happening. But imagine if he's <laughs> like if his stock just continued to drop. Take him. You would <laughs> swap him now, would you? QPR flying, they. Eh? Oh, no, we lost last night, mate. That's fucking oh, fuck, sorry, I didn't realize. I've, I've never been more confident about a game of football and therefore so confident we would lose. I know. I've been there many times. Don't worry. It was a, it was a, I can't do this anymore. Feel it. I got, I got a little pang of like, I can't do this anymore. Because I've just, we've had so many opportunities to get out of the bottom three. And I, I like him and I believe in what he's doing. But just fucking win the football matches. Mate, he can't. It will come. He's been there two minutes. What are you doing? This isn't like you, Jim. I just, I just, I just want just win the games, score the goals, and win the game. Oh, <laughs> so it's so, so hard. Good. I'm so fed up with supporting QPR. I just win the games. <laughs> just win the games. Just let me have a You're go. You're getting there. I've been waiting in queue for ages, and like no one. You like uh, you were like oh it's so hard under Conte and then but then it's just handed to you on a plate you just find some messiah because of course he wants to go to you because you're a big club with a great ground yeah it's so hard like it's so hard Jim <laughs> can I just give you a bit of perspective for a second Don't. last five games beat Millwall drew with Huddersf- uh, Huddersfield beat Man but Blackburn away drew with Norwich. You lost one game, one nil, which you dominated possession. They had, and now won, you're like one, two in seventeen. Luke, just support a proper club, Jim. It's not hard. Fuck off, Luke. Fuck you. Fuck Where is you. He? Where is he? Where is that prick? Where is it? Oh yeah, I see. I he am supporting club. a proper club. Do you know how much harder it is to support my club than it is to support your club? I don't even know who your club is. Who's your club, Luke? I don't care. I don't care because it's not. There's no way it's harder to support your club than it is to support my club. So, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> yes, I'm rattled. I'm Mate, he so might not. Tired. Jimmy, he might. He, I'd love it if he supports Wrexham. Do you know? <laughs> do you know? Like, I get this is first world problems, right? My life is wonderful, but I have to show energy and enthusiasm for your teams. Yeah. Every single oh, week get, yeah that must be tough and you get and look at your team you and I'm happy nothing. to do that I want us all to be happy okay but fucking let me have a go <laughs> right because I'm, I'm just let me through yeah 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 I I, so I struggle with this Jim like with, with, with when I, I expect better for you I'm sorry Flav I'm not even listening to you and I'm talking over you Catherine Heap fuck you right <laughs> fuck Aston Villa <laughs> I hope you. I hope you finish seventh, and you're in the oh, in the conference league again. I hope you fail. Saying so <laughs> rattled. I expect better from you. And oh, by the way, good. Taylor Swift's fella is cheating on her with some bird. We all saw the footage, okay? And I didn't want to throw that at you, Catherine, but you made me do it, <laughs> right? Anyway, Jose Mourinho. Where could he? <laughs> like, where could he be? <laughs> Um, well, Rory called for Chelsea to take him, didn't they? Right. Well, Liverpool, not happening, right? No. We, right. Man United. No, Man United. Man United. Man United. Man United. He's flirting. He's batting his eyes. He's, but he's lost it, though, hasn't he? I mean, like, he's done. Like, he's, it, it, the, the oh. Roma job was, he just did okay at Roma, and they loved, the fans loved him, and that was a big part of it. He won a trophy, but didn't he? He, he, did, he spent a lot trophy? of money in the first year, which hurt him in the last couple of years according to Doogie Critchley. Here's a, here's a question for you I was thinking about, right? What's more important for your next job? The amount of success you've had or the amount of failures you've had? Isn't it the, John, it, it, the job you've done with the respective limitations of that club? But So, so, like, so Mourinho, right? Mm. So who's got a higher stock in football? Mourinho, 
yeah. or Emery? Emery at the moment. But right. Who's been a like more successful more manager? Mourinho, but football's changed. Football's changed significantly. So like, so I'm successes of... don't matter, do they? It's recent successes. Yes, exactly. Right. Emery's stock is infinitely higher at the moment than, than Mourinho's. I mean, look, what what is his next job? Like, what? Where does he go? What did you see? Do you give it to England? No chance. The FA are not going to work with him. Oh, sorry, I've got, they this, like... I've got this Taylor Swift thing wrong. I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> I was like, okay about Taylor Swift. Right. Oh, was it from two years ago? That is good. Oh, it's proper dummy that. So the, basically, there was a clip on Twitter of him like getting a hug from this girl, and there's obviously something going on, but it's actually his girlfriend from two years ago. Yeah. Why the fit- fuck? Does, why? Why? I, I I did talk sport the other day, and they were asking about Taylor Swift and the Super Bowl. Why is she such a big part of it? What's going on? Well, I'm sick of hearing her name. The music is shit. It's shit. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. It is shit, Jim. I know Catherine's a big fan, but yeah. it's crap. I, uh... and so, and actually, while we're having a go at Catherine, 1975, <laughs> what a load of shit they are too. Oh, really? Wow, yeah. Catherine's taking an absolute battery here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am uh... rattled. I don't, I don't understand what... what, what ex- explain it to me why she was such an intrinsic part of the Super Bowl. Why? What? What? What happened? Why is she? Is she like a massive fan of American football? The the sort of cutting to her so much was. It was in. It was sad. It, it was sad. Is it, but is okay. it, James? Is it because she's? Is she really into American football? Why was? She, why is? So she's going out with the, she, No, she's going out with one of the main players, basically. That's oh. it. That's that's why that's why they keep going back to her. But what I would say is this, right? Catherine, good to get your take on this. Is the fact that they keep turning to Taylor Swift, is that somewhat kind of sexist in the fact that this is only interesting because she's famous and she's the girlfriend? Do you know what I mean? Like, she's like one of the most ex- successful artists of all time. You, you can imagine a jerk, show the pretty girl. Show the yeah, pretty show, girl. Yeah. Put a pretty girl on, Pete. But now we're, in, now we're interested. Yeah. Now she's a yeah. A now slag. yeah. And what about all the other wives and girlfriends? Were they getting their were they getting their screen time? <laughs> what? No, Jack Hancock. It's like Sophie Sedgwick expects to getting bummed by James Milner and constantly being filmed at the FA Cup final. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Steady on, Jack. Steady on. I like it. So, Fuck we're... off, Ollie. Ollie, look, this is so. We this is this, this. We are going down alleyways here because we're reading chat from the patrons as we're trying to do this tier list if you want to be a part of that you can become, become a patron Less than London yeah, yeah if you want to get abused <laughs> yeah but Less Ollie, say, uh, Ollie say, say, says can I shock you here I like 1975 again they've been very successful they're rubbish they're rub- oh, right. okay. yeah, rubbish alright right Mourinho Man United any chance where will he where, Barcelona again has links with Barcelona would he could he? No, it's Probably all not. wrong. And plus the financial limitations. The, the, I don't see it. I don't see it. I can. I can. Can he? Can, can, Manu, can Mourinho do it without a budget? By the way, I don't think many managers can. No, apart from Marty. No, yeah. Come on, Marty. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. There's energy there. Yeah. There's optimism there. Boys can. We can stay up. Come on. Um. I, do you know why I feel it's Chelsea? Do you think he'll go Because Bowley has to get it right. He has yeah. absolutely made two horrendous decisions. Not, not in terms of their abilities as a manager. Potter's still a class manager. And Pochettino, as though his stock has fallen, he's a good football manager, right? He knows what he's doing. You can understand Todd Bowley's motives in employing both of those managers, right? But there was a huge Tottenham millstone hanging around Pochettino, which meant that it, the the rope that he would be given to hang himself was very short by Chelsea fans. So, Todd Bowley's next appointment has got to be one that the fans are on board with. It doesn't have to be. It's beneficial to him if that is the case. Mm. And is there anyone more popular at, at Chelsea than well, Jose Mourinho? Well, is he popular? Or am I... Is it is it a little double act here? Do we go? <laughs> Do we go no. Mourinho Lampard no. double act? I would love to see I'd that. Love to see that. I'd love to see that. I'd Both love of them. to see that. They love. Don't they love each other? They do, don't they? Well, let's triple this up. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Listen, though. So I can actually see that somehow. No, no Lance you're and Mourinho. That, that kind of like works it. for me. I, yeah, I know what you're saying. I, that I Lampard is his number two, bringing the good feelings back to Chelsea. Yeah. Eddie Eddie Newton as part of the team as well, obviously. Mate, do you know who would absolutely adore that? Roy Jenkins. Yeah, a bit of Eddie Newton. He'd be so happy. He'd be so happy. I think I'm winner. I actually could see that. I could see that too. I think Lamps would yeah. be Lamps would Lamps would be desperate for a bit of palace, wouldn't he? The, so what's you interesting know how that ends? The, yeah. If you're see, you know, if you're if if you're Parish, right? See Parish, and you're looking at that, you're going. If you make that decision, you don't belong anywhere near that football club. You have to sell immediately. If you're looking around at everybody and you go, who might help us here? Do you know what? I might give it Lampard end of season. You you know you're relegating them. You know you are. So you sh- like it's like well he got the Everton job beyond me how he got the Everton job how did he get that job he kept him up it's just the where it so where can, where can Lampard failure. succeed I really how did like... he get the Chelsea job how did he get the Chelsea job uh, yeah, well it was yeah but it was like you know it was essentially just like the opposite of gardening leave wasn't it it was like coming here it was interim when it you just pop in for a bit and it was a car crash we could yeah well where can he succeed though Lamps. I want him to succeed. I actually really like him. Nowhere. He's not a good... He's not... A, I don't know. He's a nice guy, but... He, he, nowhere. He will never succeed in any, any managerial role ever because he isn't very good. Nor will Steven Gerrard. They, their brains are set in different ways. You but know, these, he didn't actually fail you know, at least... Chelsea. He didn't actually fail. In comparison to what we've seen since. Yes, Tuchel, but you've got Potter and... Uh, Poch, who lamps points per match, I reckon, if you take away the last season, is probably better. <laughs> I'll give it him then. Give it, give it back to him then. If he's that good. Could you see him as an England manager? And could you see Mourinho as an England manager? No, because the FA won't work. Lampard more likely, probably, bizarrely, than Jose Mourinho because of the way the FA be. There's a reason that Southgate's been given the freedom to do whatever he wants to do. And multiple tournaments. Is he like our longest ever England manager? He's got to be up there somewhere, isn't he? Uh, As the longest reigning? Maybe. I feel like Greenwood was there for a long time. I'm not sure about that, to be honest, actually. Yeah, but what I'm saying is they need a... He he got the job because he was a company man, which is fine. That yeah. they, they, it's, it's fine to have a, a synergy between the managers and the, and the FA, and, and that's important because it helps unify everything and everyone's pulling in the same direction. So I've got no issue with the, him being a company man. But Mourinho is the opposite of that. You know it's going to end in, in tears. The FA would... Yeah. yeah. That, that is a disaster. Wait, so Lampard, if you just be smart, go do the under-21s with Ashley Cole for a bit. Win some tournaments because we've got too many good players. Wait for the job. I don't even want him on the list. I don't want him on the list. Take him off. He's not getting another job. Take him away. <laughs> I think I've been they... harsh on Lampard. No, no. Right. I'll tell you Han- Hansi Flick. Go. Man United. Can't possibly, yeah. Could see that. Yeah. Could see that. You could... You could definitely see that, yeah. Conte, Conte, Man United. Where's Conte? Where's he ending up? It could be Man United. It could be Man United. I, big warning, warning signs, red flags. Um, I don't think he's the right. You, they, they need to feel good, Manchester United fans, right? They, they felt very unhappy with a lot of people at their football club for a long time. Antonio Conte does not bring happiness. He brings misery. Yeah, you don't want that. You fucking club. Send him to Liverpool. The thing is, that's the thing with him. Like he's any of these jobs. First of all, he thinks he's too good for Palace. Obviously, he yeah. thinks he's Chelsea? too good for QPR. Chelsea? Ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> Chelsea would never go back, surely. And it's just he's just bad vibes, isn't he? He's just horrible vibes. No, but he, he is bad vibes. He, but Chelsea was his issue wasn't with Chelsea Football Club, was it? It was with Bramovich. Maybe. I. Uh, I think at best, Barcelona on a weird one where he kind of behaves because he's just excited to be there. No, but he's... Well, I, don't say, I would say his football's terrible, but it, it wasn't terrible again when he was at Inter. It was actually quite good. Mm. It's just at Spurs. He's a terrorist. The man is a terrorist. Do you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to power through some bits here, right? And then you can... Yeah, us, yeah okay? but, 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 but it's frustrating me that you've left Jose Mourinho in England. Why have you done that? He's never going to be a manager. Would he take a Palace job? No. So, right, with the Palace job. No, Palace Chelsea... Job, you think it's Chelsea? Right, he goes home. He's going home. Okay. Yeah. yeah right. Conte, I'm going to uh, check a load of people. Potter. Yeah, Potter, England, 100% see that. Cooper, England? 
Cooper looks like Cooper he should be, should be Palace, shouldn't it? Well, should no, I mean, if on the on the uh, on the, on the on the news this morning, it was Glasner. Oh yeah, yeah, manager. yeah. True, true, true. He, he plays some lovely football, that boy. Uh, Nathan Jones, when this tier list was made, I don't think had a job. Now has QPR. a job at Charlton. QPR, QPR. Oh, he's got yeah, a job at Charlton. A few people have wanted him at QPR, but Marty is here to stay. It's a Marty party. What? Well, just quickly on QPR, Marty. He, no one's questioning him, are they? I mean, if they are, they're morons. Like, they're like right, okay, utter, good, good, utter right, morons. Good, right. Like the most stupid people on the planet. Because yeah, okay, that's. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm... We've got the second best open play xg against in the league since he's come in, and we're in the bottom three. But you, that, you, that, how, many, how many games you got left, Jim? How many games? Something like that. I don't know. Fourteen. That's fine. Run out. Run out. <laughs> run out a little bit. Five points. Five points of drift now. Zidane, let's go Man United options, right? Via Spurs, yeah, yeah, would we like to see him no. back? Would we like to see him back? I'm going to keep him off, um, Mate, what is, it? is Never he Never to return. Sha- where, where is he? He was at Shakhtar, wasn't he? No, uh, no, no. He's been all over the place. Lopetegui could though? be a Man United option. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to return with a better foundation around him. No, no. Get him off. So again, with I think there's a few of these managers here, right? I'm going to put them in the Palace bracket. Solskjaer, yeah. Marsh, Bruce, yeah. Yeah. Allardyce, both, yes. both have been managers of Palace. I'm yes. going to put Lampard in there as well. They're, okay. they're all... Right, coming back to what we were talking about earlier when it comes to managers. Say Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Lampard, two great examples, right? Is it possible to actually be a success if you are the manager? Let me go to the league to kind of make my point if you are a manager of anyone between i mean essentially i mean maybe these three kind of prove it for you but between 11th down yeah i guess you if you just survive for a long time then fine but even okay iriola maybe because the style of football's like sexy enough and maybe silver yeah. because of football's sexy enough but i think gary o'neill and Thomas Frank, even Thomas Frank, right? When people go, oh, what about, would he be an option? He's, he's one of those ones where he's like the out left field option for a Tottenham job or a Liverpool job. But when it comes to the crunch, you don't want Thomas Frank, do you? If, say, nah. Pastor Cogley went to Liverpool, you don't want Thomas Frank. No. Nah. Why don't you want him? Just weird looking, isn't he? <laughs> what about Gary O'Neill? Done an unbelievable job. Or Iriola, do you want him? Done an unbelievable Thanks. job. Just stinks. Just all of it stinks. Um, so, yeah. so, so, no, so no. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who kind of got that job, or Lampard, who got that job at that top club. Yeah. To then go and manage any of those other clubs, and so for Solskjaer and Lampard again, right? Lamp- Solskjaer was at um, Cardiff, failed miserably, and only got the Man United job because he's a Man United guy, right? And Lampard, who did okay at Derby, but spent a lot of money, had unbelievable loans from Chelsea. And Everton, who ultimately has failed as well, is it even possible for those guys to get a job? Is it worth it? Because say you're Lampard and you're in the championship and you kind of get promoted with someone, people are still going to turn their nose up at you. I think quit, quit is what I'm saying. His, Don't bother his, trying. History shows that that it typically doesn't work. Um. Your, my everybody's estimation would be that if Gary O'Neill got a job at a, a top six club, mm. that it would f- foul, and inevitably it does. But so does almost every managerial appointment. It's just they're treated more harshly. I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll do you one here, Jim. It's, it's about relative achievement. If Rob Edwards keeps looting up, he does, that is a more difficult job than getting Spurs into the top four. So, by proxy, you in, in the interest of fairness, mm. he should be. The he next he should be. He should potentially get a a a, a, a um an opportunity to manage a, a club bigger than Luton, or See, uh, you know. A, but it's just that's that's the crux of it for me. Like this is why I kind of wanted. I know the TLS is a shit show. I get it. But what I really want to get to is the discussion <laughs> over the sort of status of a manager and. And like the journey of it, it's it's weird where you are like Chris Wilder, like amazing, like 
he's had a great career as a manager. But you mm. but you would never even entertain the thought of him getting a job of a team in the top eight. Like it no. just there feels like a lot of unfairness with it all. Harry you know Redknapp I mean? used to say that. Do you remember John Still? He was a manager of Bartnett for a long time. Dagenham he, Redbridge yeah. and Luton. He's yeah. the, he got the first promotion for Luton out of the conference or whatever the nas- national yeah. league into the. He just always league. operated in the lower leagues and yeah. and to Dario Grady, for example, that, 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 like managers that are steeped in understanding and experience. Mm. And Harry Redknapp says John Still could easily do a job in the Premier League, just never given an opportunity. The reputation. The reputation, but it's reputation on experience, isn't it? Like, Posta, how, why did Pochettino break through from Espanyol to Southampton to Tottenham to PSG? Because he'd done something different that John Steele wasn't doing. For, for, or, or, John Steele's not a great example. Posta Coglu has made his way from the entire planet to get to Tottenham. There is opportunity if you're doing the right things. Do you know what he There's did brilliantly, about- though, at Southampton? Right. He, he was obviously a good crop of players. Yeah. Um, so he got there's an element of fortune there where it looks like a better at, and at Spurs and at Spurs as well. Yeah, that's true. Like you're yeah, you're like... you're getting the fortune of that. And he, do you know what he did? He skipped from Southampton to Tottenham quickly. If a you get years, when eighteen months. Yeah, I think if, weirdly, I, that's what I mean. Like, to get when I'm looking at these Premier League managers to get yourself one of those big jobs. What's happening at the moment? Weirdly, is the sort of like when we're talking about options for. For the Man United job, let's come back to that tier list. Like someone like say like Lopetegui or Zidane, Zidane Zidane has not had a, a Zidane's had an incredibly high pressure job, but he's had like an embarrassment of riches to deal with in a league that you utterly dominate dominate all the time. So mm. if he was to go, so for him to actually like go to Man United and do something, so it just seems he'd have to coach, like, wouldn't he? He'd in comparison to, to say like an Emery, feels odd to me, right? Or Lopetegui, mm. right? Lopetegui's career is is odd as well. Like he's had some great jobs, but he's had like a disaster with Spain. Then went to Real Madrid, and I've just described as an easy job. That's then been he's then failed miserably, but, but, and then but, he's gone but, to but, Wolves but, and done well. But then he cried off. <laughs> disaster for Spain wasn't about his performance as a manager, though, was it? It was it was how he went about getting that Madrid job while he's employed. But that, again, shows you something about his decision-making and his person. But he does have a reputation of... It's, it's important. How important is it for Manchester United to have a manager who's had experience breaking under that, in that pressure cooker of, of, a, of, a, of, a manager, of a club whose fans' expectations, but moreover, the media's expectations, the media create a lot of pressure about, around Manchester United. Most of them, you know, if you talk to Adam McCola, he's obviously frustrated, but there is this element of understanding about certainly Ten Hag that's not it isn't mirrored by what you see when you hear Gary Neville talking about United it's different right so um, do you have a manager who's confident and able to deal with that pressure that's put upon him by the media and elsewhere and Lopetegui's been in those rooms before but Gary O'Neill hasn't so is is the risk there so significant that he wouldn't have the experience to deal with it. So if if you were a young manager now and you want to get a job, you're not a name, and you want to get, you want to manage Liverpool, how do you do it? What's the trajectory? Like obviously you have to continue. You can't, it, have, a, you can't have a miss, can you? I, what, it's I, it's sustained success throughout every level of your management. I think you've got to go abroad. I think you have to go abroad. Don't look at that, by the way. What, um... I'm going to show you something amazing in a sec. The, okay. I think you have to go abroad because, say, like Lopetegui. Oh, Lopetegui. His, I bet you could look at his career and it's as impressive as... Who's a good example? As Or, like, say, like Roy Hodgson, who's getting hammered right now, right? He's, like, he's been all over the place and um, generally been successful most mm. places like and everyone can find the example where it's not gone wrong i don't know it just confuses me whereas like deserby being in italy it was probably was that sexy enough for him to then come over like i think that kind of having that trajectory is quite useful as well because if you think of jürgen klopp who's one of the in the most recent manager to get himself um to, to being a, an icon whilst not having a great career 
he and Mourinho, they had average job, then was able to get quite a big job somehow mm. and do well in a kind of foreign league. And then they got that big jump to these like monster Premier League clubs. That's why Amarim's probably is a great example. Like, get yourself over to Portugal, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. Enough football chat. The Oz are staying up. I've changed my mind on that. Okay. Right. Now, we had a bit of an argument last week. Fluff. Didn't end well. Um, one thing I will say, right. ch- changes are afoot, by the way, guys. I want to warn everyone. And you'll, you'll have noticed this by now. Um, two things. One, um, we're looking at the data and... Um, the intro's got to go, apparently, from the start of the video. But I'm not having it. We're going to hide it in the video each week. I'm going to hide the, the, music? the horns. The horns. We'll, we will retain the horns, okay? Oh, we, yeah. As we, as we look to grow, apparently it's, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a stumbling block. But enjoy the horns now. What time is that? One hour three. Great. Right. Uh, second thing, Mike Viola. A few people talking about this last week. We've, um, you know, I'm fortunate enough with the channel now, thanks to you guys and your support. I've got a few members of staff these days. People are far more diligent than myself. And so in the last couple of weeks, we've had a couple of timestamps. Will that be a regular thing? I don't know because I'm not doing it. Someone else was willing to do that. Thank you, James. I didn't even know. That is a big shift in, in our philosophy though, isn't it? I know. Mike Viola said, we once banned some people for asking for timestamps what is actually happening blue card for the both of them unbelievable quick thoughts on blue cards um i don't understand why when referees are already struggling completely to manage football games do you now give them something else to think about why don't the people that keep interfering with the game just go and fucking why don't they just Leave it as it is, right? There's nothing wrong with it. Actually, there are the things that are wrong with the game now are stuff that you've created. Just shut your fucking mouths and go about your business. Stop yeah. justifying your existence. Just leave us alone. Leave our game alone. Fuck off. That's how I feel. I'll save it. Okay. Uh, we've still got some uh, Samism's Soldiers Lost in Battle from last week and, uh, and uh, the fallout to last week's anger and uh, and a men an unbelievable weird flex at the end right so uh yeah we look we might have some timestamps just like enjoy them or don't right don't, I think the important... do people not want them then do we get rid of them then are they helpful i think look the important thing is to know that we're not doing it okay yeah all right sure, our integrity right. is intact um roy hodgson getting the sack today probably well but has he had a good career is what i'm trying to say you start really. Yeah, but you don't want him anywhere near football club, do you? Really? I, mate, you, you take him? I you take him? I think he's massively Would you take him? Roy Hodgson. I think he's so disrespected. He's had an Would unbelievable career. Unbelievable career. Would you take him if he was open now, Jim? No, if he's open to... It's all about the Marty party. Right, but yeah. say Marty got poached by a palace. You say don't. Hodgson. Yeah, I'll take Hodgson. He's a good manager. Just old, what it? happens though, Jim? Like, I don't want to throw. Actually, forget it. I'm not even going to say it. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Right. Do you think I'll do well? You're just going to get like Palace coming along, going. Mm, we're going to take your manager now. It's just not. We just need to get ourselves in the prem, and then he, and then it's one like Rob Edwards, where it's like, well, I'm not going to leave this. I mean, we just got up, and then you've yeah. got him. Yeah. Well, it's not, but yeah, but like like Palace are going. Oh, we want McKenna Ipswich. Look at he's, he looks good. Oh, look at we're going to take everything. All, all your Ipswich's hopes and dreams away just because, do you know what I mean? Like, they, I, I think as a manager, you shouldn't be allowed to leave during a club season. I totally unless agree with that. Unless, unless you're sacked. Oh, you should be allowed unless to be you're sacked. you're fired. Either. Get on with it. Fucking get on with it. You're not allowed you, to be this sacked. Is our squad. Right, lock this it in. This is our manager. Yeah. You've got your squad numbers. You've got your manager number. Who's your number one? Stick with it. Get yeah. on with it. And I'd that like to see that. All, that's good. I, that, and that remove all the conversations like, he's got to go. He's got to go, isn't he? Obviously, he's got to go. It, well, he can't. Rules are the rules. He's down at the end of the season. Stop, stop having this conversation. Boring. Mm. Totally agree. 
it, it would give us a l- we'd struggle we'd, to have things to talk about though <laughs> no, massively that would be I mean it's not great for us it's no. not great for us no but is it good for the game no. right yeah. Samism Max says I have a Samism my mate brought his new girlfriend to the pub the other day he introduced her to us and then she walked to the bar to get some drinks when she went I proceeded to wind my mate up and put the idea in his head that she might fancy me over him now that she has met all his friends. Bit of a dickish move, Max was saying, but I guess it's just a joke. Yeah, he, Max, that's what, he, what are you doing? He came back with, she wouldn't shag you with a 10-foot barge pole, mate. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing at his mistake. He put a weird image in my mind of me, his girlfriend, and a 10-foot barge pole. Disturbing. That's the, the best Samisms are like that. As it, we'll go back yeah. to the originals. Uh, one of the original the principle... I enjoyed was a. Uh, yeah. There was a. It was a. She was a flatmate to um, another uh, friend of mine, and she had her like a driving test or something. It was when we were at uni, and we were like, "Oh God, were we loud? We'd had a night out. It was loads of us, like fifteen of us. We had a night out. We went. Oh, did we able to sleep? We were alright. She went. Yeah. She. Went, I was out like a log, and it, uh, in my mind, I'm just thinking her. Mm, slept like. Oh, I, well, I didn't think that at all. Uh, I just clearly she had made a mistake. Slept like a I lot. Like, I like the image. And, and wouldn't shag you with a 10-foot barge pole is also, it makes sense, even though it is incorrect. <laughs> That's uh Yeah, it's, it's confused. Uh, soldiers lost in battle. Right. Um, regarding last week, Mike said, uh, I love being able to pinpoint the moment that Flav drops off. About 10 minutes before he's called out, you see his eyes go, <laughs> head down, and the occasional grunt. <laughs> Jim, bless him, I think gives him the benefit of the doubt, trying to soldier on through comments, but to no avail. <laughs> Same again next week. Up the slugs. Yeah, uh, yeah, tough. Born, uh, born red films said uh, the devastation of seeing your comment on Flav's screen as he meekly turns his camera around after <laughs> after a thorough dressing down by Jim, knowing it will forever be unread. <laughs> One week ban on Flav's phone. Well, born Red Films, we've still got your soldiers lost in battle, so we'll come back to that. Um, but speaking of which, one week ban, I did want to touch on this. And just to, again, just to check in, are you needing to go, Flav? Do you need to get away? Are you still with me? Are you Are you listening? Are you doing it again? Are you listening? No, I'm, 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 what, I'm, what, I'm listening. I'm oh, bloody so, listening. Hey. What? Oh, well, I'm a bit triggered, am I? Sorry about that. Oh, hang on, James. I had a crisis last like, last week. Like, I'm true. thinking, I, the, the trains were all cancelled, and I'm thinking, right. like, it's not like they've got another flab that they can just wheel out at Talksport, is yeah. it? Do you think it's two of this guy? No, that's true. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Right, so exactly. one week bans. Uh, what we got? Arsenal fans says Matt Hayes. Bit lazy that Matt. Bit lazy. I'll be honest. Kev De Bruyne, just to give us all a chance. Kev De Bruyne, just pop him out. Just let. Mm. What would be? For the title race, what would be just a like the a lovely gap? Just give give Liverpool what eight eight point gap, Arsenal an eight point gap, two Man City what? starting now. What's what feels like a fair like handicap? I think eight points would I be nice. Eight, uh, mate, eight points would probably there. Yeah, that'd probably do it. I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's uh, they're gonna they're just gonna steamroll the league, aren't they? And do you know what? Thank Christ. Thank bloody Christ. Anyone but Arsenal. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I no, hope you know why I say that. You, you, you might no, not agree with me. But uh, Mbappe you know News, why. one week ban on that. Bardi saying constant replays of goalkeepers being ha- manhandled at corners. Can I quickly get your thoughts on this very quickly, Jim? Is yeah. Why is it such a story around Vicario and defending corners? Like, this stuff happens all the time. He's made... What's the story here then? Am I missed something? That you can't defend corners and that Tottenham, the way to play Tottenham is to um, set piece and just pile players on him. It's like Brighton did it, didn't work. And but City it, did it, did work. Yeah. But Everton do it, but Everton always do it. Well, I think this, so everyone's, there's been a lot of chat about short corners and how that's kind of the, the way to go. I, uh, I think we were talking about this. I think I spoke about this on a video maybe. We're saying, should we do this? This is a th- like, I know it's not a new thing, but in terms, it's in terms of being sort of on vogue, getting everyone on the goalie and putting an in swinger on the goalie 
is is the thing to do at the moment. Everyone, everyone's at it. But it everyone's but, at but it. But we've been, it, yeah. But this is that is. Or isn't that like it's the not a Vicario age thing. old? It's a, yeah, it's a it's, goalkeeper it's been, thing, I think. Yeah, because they're not as physical as they used to be. Because they 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 were, you know, they've been developed to be more like footballers, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, and and also there's a lot of you know there's a lot of six foot plus players these days. If you think of like Everton, load of big players. West Ham, load of big players. Man City, load of big players. Arsenal, load of big players. Like that's that. So if you put four of them around the goalkeeper, like it's just got to get deflected and it goes in because maybe the goalkeepers aren't getting. Mm. They're not as dominant. You're right. Like if you take, there's very few goalkeepers that are sort of that look like Donnarumma or Courtois these days they are all a bit smaller aren't they yeah 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 yeah. well edison and, and you know he's he's he is a way to do it but it just seems like it's always been a tactic it was reserved for the the bigger more physical teams but i don't understand why there was it felt as a spurs fan that there seemed to be this constant conversation about it when it they've always been man men being put on goalkeepers players being put on goalkeepers uh yeah saka versus foden seems to be a big one this week um, yeah, I'm happy for that to have a ban. People going after Saka, I just don't get it. I was really confused by it, and I can't even be asked to talk about it. Um, Peter let's Drury, they moment. are let's, Peter let's, Drury. Let's, down, uh, let's you down big moments. Is all I say. Just leave they that. They are there. turning on him, aren't they? They're turning on Peter. Who? Peter Drury giving us a poem for a Rashford shot on target. <laughs> people, oh, the people are commentator. They're like, turning on him a little bit. They're a little bit fed up with him. Shame. I, 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 I genuinely wish there was an opportunity to turn the commentators off and just watch football like and just have the crowd noise i'd much rather that cannot stand listening to these people giving their opinions yeah can i i agree with world champions people who tweet very obvious bait for interactions just because it lays on twitter now lays what does that mean i i don't want to name names but i'm i'm really and i obviously i probably am bad for it I'm, I'm sure I am, and it's my blind spot. But I'm really struggling with football creators' tweets at the moment. It's sort of like they, they don't seem, they don't feel authentic at all. And it's like, and I know it's Twitter, and I know it's my problem. But it's like mm. they're sort of going, they're saying questions about players that played in like the mid noughties and why they're better than every player that's ever existed. And I'm like. Yeah. Fucking relax. Like I didn't ask for that. Like no one's talking about that. What are you on about? I just don't. Just str- mute them. Struggling with it. Oh, yeah, I am going to have to mute a lot of people. I think I'm really on the edge. But do you know what the problem I've is? They're people, I, they're people that I really like. <laughs> no, no, I mute my it. friends. I, I mute my friends. Yeah. They know this as well. They, 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 they're muted the because it, what, you're having conversations in WhatsApp, then you're reading it on Twitter, and then you're like, I can't do this anymore. Especially if it's one a, a, an opinion that you don't. It just like don't, don't I think the problem with. is because I know them. I'm like, you're not walking around thinking about these things and then going, "This needs to be told. I need to let the people. I need. I need to let the world understand this." Just you, like what? I'm just like, what are we talking about? Here? Do you know what I under? I understand. Flap, have you muted James? Have you muted me? I would be absolutely fine no, not 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 currently. But you do when the, when you release Arsenal videos, you get muted for a bit, and then I unmute you after it's passed. That's fine. Um, Rory was muted. I followed Rory and just muted him instantly, and he knew this. So he knows this. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I'm fine with people muting me. Uh, what, what I found, right, the older I get, the less tolerance I have for people that have different opinions than me. I don't want, I don't, I'm not like, I'm like, oh, no, it's good to hear other people's opinions about it. You know, it's kind of, nah. No, what I want is a lovely echo chamber where only my opinion matters and people that agree with me. I don't want to be debated, right? 42, I've made my my bed. This is the way I think, I'm not changing. Yeah, I also think Don't, like that's one week ban. Anyone's opinion on football that doesn't agree with mine, one week ban. People thinking their content change is changing the world as well is fucking ridiculous. That's that's yeah. there's a lot yeah, man. of that. Uh, so okay, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff in terms of one week bans. Is there anything you'd like to ban this week, Flav? Good. Give you the opportunity. Is there anything? No, that's fine. No, that's fine. No. Okay. Well, uh, just out anyone who doesn't have the same opinion as me. Yeah, yeah. Shout. Good shout. Kenneth Powell on corners. On everything. Shout. Everything. Okay. Mm. Social Lost in Battle. Here comes your moment. Born Red Films. So this was a couple of weeks ago. Didn't really get through them all last week because Flap was having a crisis. We're drawing a line on it. It's all. It's all fine. Uh, 
Here we go. Sorry. And then we got weird flex. Really good weird flex this week. So Ben said, I oh, know. Forgive me. For, I know. So actually, just to give you a bit of uh, equality on the uh, the argument last week, uh, Ben said Jim's lost his head at the end there, and we the slugs are the only ones who have lost out to more juicy soldiers lost in battle content. Be better, <laughs> Flav. <laughs> solid job as always. Okay. So born red films. Here we go. Soldiers lost in battle. I missed Liverpool's now legendary four nil uh, against Barcelona for my then girlfriend's birthday. I went to the bathroom so many times to check the score. She probably thought I had a prostate problem. <laughs> I didn't even get a nosh on the night for my sacrifice. It is her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> like a long night out. Great night though. Great party. No, no, I really enjoyed it. I, you know, I missed. <laughs> you know, I missed the uh, Liverpool Barcelona game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For your birthday. Maybe so. This is what I'm talking about. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> Could I have a nosh, it's, please? Normalizing sucking off your mates. It's like just go around your mates' house. Just go around. Okay, and right. Your birthday. That's in a mailbag. So that, <laughs> so that, so you need to then explain what you've just said there, because that can't, you can't just chuck that. Out. This isn't the same. Con- like, there's a paywall. So explain what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that there's a school of thought where you know, which, which that, we discussed which, on the mailbag this week, which was that okay. that perhaps you should normalise sucking off your mates because, like. Just do them a favour, right? Sometimes they might need one. Do them a solid. And it, do, do them a solid. Mm. And the, the, the way I see it is, I don't want to give you a lift to the airport at 4am to catch your flight wherever you're going. But I would do it for you because I'm a mate. I don't want to help you move house, but I would do it for you because yeah. you're a mate. I don't want to give you a blowjob, but I would do it for you because you're a mate. What about if I said, right, I need you to take me to the airport at 4 a.m. and you need to yeah. suck on this sweet that tastes like a toilet <laughs> the whole way there? How are you going to get any gratification out of that? I'm just, well, no, I'm just saying that's a certain, like the blowjob element. Yeah. You know, God knows where people's penises are being. <laughs> You're overthinking it, Jim, unfortunately. I'm just saying, just I'm sorry. trying like, I, I think I don't think it's the same as driving someone to the airport because you can just, yeah, zone, you can zone out, it's can't okay. you? With this, you've it's got exactly. like with a blowjob. That's very like that's quite intimate. You're close up. You're right. You know, this is it's a real act of labour. It's exactly the same. Okay, I think hand jobs are the same. I just, I just think blowjobs. She feels like I'm much more. There's a lot more a- yeah. to do. Anyway, <laughs> and right, <laughs> uh, Gianfranco Schola. Soldiers lost about um, this right. one stick. <laughs> I'm a Newcastle fan that went to every Champions League game this season, bar one. Which one? PSG 4 won at home. That is heartbreaking. Reason being, months ago, I agreed to go to a, I think it's, I don't know this band, Five Seasons of Summer? What, is that the name of the band? Five SOS. Yeah. Concert with my girlfriend as none of her friends wanted to. Plus, why would I be doing anything on a random weekday? It killed me. I avoided any knowledge of the game and watched it the next day blindly. I was absolutely buzzing with the game result, which made it worse that I missed what's arguably our best result in the past 20 years, if not ever. Yeah, it'll be the you missed the greatest result your club has ever will ever ever have. Better than the 5 0 against Man United way back when? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. And Oli Carter, soldiers lost in battle. My mate missed the 2022 World Cup final, arguably the best football match ever and definitely the best I've ever seen because his girlfriend booked them tickets for Harry Potter at the cinema as a surprise. (laughs) To this day, he isn't gutted to have missed it, but there's a look in his eye that tells you he's lying every time. We finish off with, uh, well, okay, I'll give you the weird flex. We'll finish with that. We've got two great weird flexes this week. Get your weird flexes in. Uh, but I, I do want to just show you guys this, if I may. Um, last week, I made a mistake. I showed it at the end of the podcast. We had um, one of our patrons, Tom, <laughs> uh, who had... He said, oh, I'm I'm currently pissed. And he was doing his typing wrong. And we were like, is this nonsense? And he said he was uh, in like, Vietnam, right? And he sent me this yeah. picture, right? So this is what I... As I saw it... Hang on. As I saw it, I saw this picture because he was talking about this Cobra whiskey and him trying trying to cross the border. And he said, this is King Cobra. I tried to transport across the borders. I generally thought for a minute I was ending in up in a Lao prison. We'd asked specifically for a spoon. 
So I wrote underneath. I was it like I was upset after. Falling what is that? I'm looking at. It's a cobra in a bottle of whiskey. What an actual snake! Yeah. Why have they done that? Yeah, it seems a bit cruel, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> I said no spoon. You're a fraud. How have they done that? I, 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 don't, I mean, it's look dead. at the way it's, it's sort of perfectly. Dead. Yeah, but how do you get it in the neck of the bottle and get it like perfectly placed like that? So, uh, just poke it down. Oh yeah, that's probably the technique they use. Yeah, just poke it like that. Uh, anyway, I feel bad, right. Tom. I just want to apologise to Tom because um, I called him a fraud, and then he he went, "Have yeah. you not seen my message before that?" So I scrolled up a bit and actually had done a feature hey, <laughs> with a spoon, with a balloon. Yeah, he said, "How dare anyone question me?" I did, however, go down to reception with my shorts inside out, which was met by a confused receptionist. I only spoke Lao language and Chinese when I asked for a spoon. Keep up the good work, boys. I'll keep watching for the next two. Oh, months. nice, cool. good stuff. He's uh, he's Good finding work. himself. So him in the in the spoon. That's great stuff. Right. Weird flex. I have got two. First one was this one. Um, hi James. I didn't realise I had my own bang average weird flex until a sluggy mentioned it. I can also move my ears hands free. Here you go. Look. Oh, oh I'm giving him the wink initially. Here we go. Look. Is he his ear wiggling? Yeah. <laughs> I, think I can do that. Good wink, good wink at the end. I like that. No. Yeah. Right, but um, prepare to be blown out of the water because I yesterday I got sent this. My reply was, "Wow, okay, don't look at it just yet. Don't look at it just yet. Okay. Look away, look all away, right, look right. away." Right. Weird flex. Right. I can't remember the specific age which I discovered that this was a weird flex, but I remember the circumstances that led to its discovery. I was intent on learning how to raise an eyebrow or two should the circumstance require it. While practicing this maneuver in the mirror, I discovered that I not only have a horrendous sense of muscle control within my head, but I will forever go down as my embarrassing party trick. As you can imagine, the standard questions of, oh my God, is that real? And oh my God, is that a wig? Always get thrown my way. And to confirm this is not a wig, this is my real hair, and I have <laughs> just have the ability to move it back and forth as the situation requires. Okay. All right, let me get it set. Don't look. Right, this is All mental. Right. right, here we go. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that is mental. Look how look how much it, it moves. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, right? Get that off my screen. <laughs> Get it away from me. Get it away from me, Jim. I won't look at it anymore. <laughs> and there you have a Japan podcast. That isn't a fucking flex. You're a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that is, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Wild, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. please send me stuff that well, will it elicit the response. Lind of Flav Lind saying... Just gone, it I've never it's seen anything sentient. like that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotising stuff. Uh, well yeah. done, Reese. Thank you, Reese, for that. Much appreciated. Yeah, nice one, Reese. Cheers. Um, and that's not this Reese. It's a different Reese. We've got two Reese Joneses. Unbelievable. Uh, right. Um, become a patron. Join us for said mailbags. East yeah. Middle name's Biddle. Mm. We had a kid at school called Biddle. Ricky Biddle. Ricky Biddle did a piddle on the kitchen floor. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.